is it like fighting Cassian? You already asked me yesterday, so. I don't care like if it's Cassian or any other guy, so I just, you know, if someone challenged me, I'll just accept it and then ready to fight. Did you have fights when you were back in Russia? I don't think I got a fight in KHL, but maybe like once, but I don't remember. Like in Canada, kids grow up and they see fighting all the time and it's part of hockey. I don't think that it is as much when you grow up in Russia. Is it new for you? Is yeah, it it's something like you more and more penalty minutes in Russia. That's why like we're fighting not that often. So I think you got like major penalty for a fight if you drop the gloves in KHL. So. Right. so does it seem strange for you now? You're, you're a professional hockey player and here you are. You're fighting like a North American. So I'm here like already like five years. So I'm kind of like I'm growing up fighting, I can say so. <laughs> what do you Because of your size, fighting is not a problem? Like, size, size, size is never a problem, so, you know, like, you just, you just need to have, like, character, you know, for a fight. It doesn't care, like, 6'3 or 5'7, five, five it doesn't care. Courage. 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 I don't know what does it mean, but. Bravery. Oh, yeah, bravery, yeah. How's, uh, I mean, you talked a few weeks ago that the, the trade was maybe a little bit of a surprise. Are, are you feeling sort of settled in in Edmonton? I know you guys have traveled a lot, but are you feeling a little more settled in with the team and the city? Yeah, like, you know, like I feel like at home here. Like, I really like the group of guys here, like trainers, coaching stuff, everyone in the locker room. So, like, even media, I like you guys too. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> you ask us some questions then. <laughs> uh, I don't have a question yet. Any, I need to think about it. Any uh, Russian people, any friends, anyone that can make you a nice bowl of borscht or something to make you feel at home? Uh, I hope, uh, hopefully, my dad coming soon, so he gonna make me some borscht. <laughs> you can, Clem, you always keep it uh, pretty lighthearted and fun around the rink. Why is that so important for you as a teammate to do? You know, when you feel comfortable, when you when you feel happy in the team, like with the like with the guys, you know, like everyone's here, not like you know, just like a team. It just it's like really family here. So, you know, just when I wake up in the morning, I'm just can't wait to go to the locker room and see the boys. And then go to practice, so I'm really like feel comfortable and happy. Jay Woodcroft described you as a rink rat. Do you know what a rink rat is? Uh, probably like I don't know. Explain. So, so someone who is always at the rink. They show up really oh, yeah. early. They stay really late. Has that always been a yeah, part it's of? It's really, you? it's really good locker room here. So <laughs> 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 the, yeah, good food. It's a lot. It's a lot of food. So that's that's why probably I'm staying there <laughs> that long. <laughs> I have nothing to do at the hotel, so I'm, I'm staying at the hotel right now, but yeah, locker room is much bigger than my room. <laughs> when you were in St. Louis, did you ever play in the power play as an offensive player? Yeah, it, maybe at the practice. <laughs> Not in the game. Uh, yeah, in Russia, yeah, when I were uh, in avant-garde with uh, Bob Hartley. Yeah, he teach me how to play defense. He wants me to be like, you know, 200 feet player. So teach you block shots on Hezekiah. Like, uh, how are you gonna teach me blocking <laughs> shots? <laughs> if you block think block you think you shoot ball. on me at the practice? <laughs> 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 no. Personal question for you: Who is your biggest idol growing up as a player? Uh, we have like a lot of Russian great players, like. Pavel Datsuk, like Ilya Kovalchuk, Alex Ovechkin. So it's not not the one, but yeah, everyone like those. Yeah, those guys is probably was my idols when I grown up. When you were younger, coming to the NHL, did you ask Ovechkin for a stick and an autograph? Uh, no, I asked him first time last uh, last game when we played against Washington. It was my first time. I have like Kobe stick, uh, uh, Datsuk stick, so I have everyone. Gave you I only missed that office stick in, yeah. in my collection. <laughs> yeah, he gave me one. <laughs> but I'm still, but I'm really worried if someone like can grab it in the locker room. <laughs>
uh, probably Holloway. <laughs> you speak, uh, I, I think I, I think I think your English is pretty good. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, you're doing pretty well. When, when, when did you learn English? Uh, I don't know. Just like watching movie, like talking with the guys, try to you know like try to speak somehow. And then yeah, I never have a, like I never had a teacher or some something like that. So just like even I don't as know. a kid, or once you got into North American hockey, you just started. Yeah, when I when I got here, I wanted to know like, hey, my name is Clem and I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's all I know. <laughs> was there one show that you watched a lot to learn English? Uh, I don't know how is it called English, but yeah, I can show you the car like uh, after. After interview in a Google. Cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, no, no, it's a, it's a show. It's like show movie. Like it's the same movie as Russian, but on English language. So. Oh, I see. Okay. Good. Thanks. Good. Cool. Thanks. 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 Thanks.